tracks from tractors used nightly to clean the beaches of Ibiza. On a normal year, by late afternoon, there'd not be a trace of them left. Tourists usually pack this beach. Christina runs a jet ski and boat hire business on the frontier in San Antonio and says she's down at least 40% on daily bookings. This year has been pretty crazy. Uh, in general, every year you see amount of people walking on the streets and you can see probably one people now and not much. And it's not just the day businesses. This island is known for its super clubs. Dance floors normally pounded by thousands of clubbers every year, remaining eerily empty. For the usually overflowing cafe terraces, the same story. Not everyone has stayed away, though. There are groups of British tourists here determined to have a holiday. Well, we're getting up a bit earlier. We're doing more. <laughs> Can't say we're going to bed any earlier, though. Yeah, no, yeah. We're doing more activities. Like We've seen a lot more of the island this year than we did last year. Ibiza's clubs have given up hope for 2020. The billboards are already promoting the 2021 season. A number of EU countries have recently red-listed this part of Spain as a no-go area for tourists. And a return to normality feels a long way off. Authorities here in the Balearic Islands have officially recognised this renewed outbreak as a second wave of COVID-19. And they're warning people that the already strict measures in place here, like having to wear a mask everywhere on the streets, will only get stricter if they can't get it under control. Jack Parrick, Euronews, Ibiza.